That's how you'll know when you meet your soulmate. Welcome to Spirita Vivo. I've heard of the concept of soulmates. I like the idea that there could be someone I feel deeply connected and comfortable with and vice versa. But how do I recognize my soulmate? What's behind it? In today's podcast, we want to talk about the clues the universe sends you when you meet your soulmate. Feeling a deep connection to a person, the soulmate, cannot be explained rationally. Being a soulmate means feeling an indescribable feeling of togetherness. Soul love. Soulmates are characterized by deep trust, understanding, and affection. You know what the other thinks and wants to say before it's said. There is a magical bond between these two people and even for outsiders. The soulmate sometimes seems a bit scary. Often the soulmate is also the love partner, but this does not have to be the case. When will I meet my soulmate? There is no reliable answer to this because, theoretically, you could meet your soulmate at any time of the day. But remember that you cannot force this event. The higher power, the universe, will send you your soulmate at the right time. Therefore, keep your eyes open and pay attention to the signs the universe sends you. Synchronicities and meaningful events play a crucial role in finally meeting your soulmate. According to the well-known psychoanalyst Carl Gustav Jung, synchronicity is the simultaneity and perfect timing of psychological and physical events, which cannot be explained causally. The last part is essential because, in everyday life, we can often observe how improbable, strange, and seemingly out-of-context chance encounters can be. The universe uses the language of synchronicity whenever we are in the right place at the right time. It sends these signs to us like discrete beacons or like a cosmic signpost. Sometimes understood with a wink, they simply mean that you are on the right path. Of course, the universe also has some signs ready for this significant moment of meeting our soulmate, which are not difficult to overlook. We present the five most important ones to you in today's podcast. Number one, do we know each other? This spell is frail and lame, but the feeling is almost intoxicating in the context of meeting our soulmate. We meet a person and in a split second we are convinced that we already know this person from somewhere. Spontaneous intimacy is one of the most evident signs that this is a meeting of two souls destined to do just that. Knowing someone we know quite a bit about is a tremendous benefit. What plays into our hands once again is our intuition. As is well known, it works tirelessly and speaks up particularly clearly when interpersonal matters are on the agenda. Our soulmate is, therefore, welcome to show up in our lives at any time. We cannot miss or scare them away if we have faith and trust in them. Our soulmate mainly has this one purpose in life. Therefore, we expect this person and will certainly recognize him when he stands before us. Number two. You meet this person again and again. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes awkward, and occasionally it isn't delightful. Like a bad movie, you keep bumping into a specific person. But before you ask yourself who is here, who is stalking, it would be wise to recognize this as a sign from above. The universe wants to nudge you in this context on something you should take notice of. Now this person can be someone other than your soulmate. It should only serve as a door opener or a personalized link to get closer to your cosmic goal. However, if you spontaneously feel strongly attracted to this person, you may be there now. If you are unsure, there is a surefire tip on confidently facing such or similar situations in everyday life. Smile. A smile is known to be the shortest distance between two people and is guaranteed to come back to you in some form. You will recognize it. At worst, you made a stranger's day and made him feel good. Number three, this person inspires you to fly high. Our soulmate only wants what is best for us. 
That's precisely what he gets out of us at every opportunity when our paths cross. You may have noticed that we make a special effort for our loved ones. We want to look good and do everything we can to do the right thing. Then, when we're in top form whenever she or he's around, the universe shows us that it's done a great job again. Incidentally, this is also where one of the beautiful and authentic sides of real love is revealed. Love is long-suffering. It does not get angry. It is already written in the Song of Songs from the first letter to the Corinthians. If you can treat your favorite person to success and happiness to your heart's content and be happy with them, only he is really and truly his soulmate. Whereas envy and resentment rule, love has no place. Number four. Your soulmate is your honest mediator. Don't you always admire those people who create harmony with their mere presence and can calm disputes without words? In addition to natural authority, these contemporaries often have vibrations with them that can hardly be put into words. You suddenly notice how, amid the most incredible excitement, your heartbeat calms, your pulse settles to an average level, and you feel safe and secure. This is precisely what happens when you meet your soulmate. Forget the cheesy romance novels and Hollywood movies where women and men alike get heart palpitations in their throats. These relationships do not express soulmates. So keep an eye out for people who can get some difficult situations under control and calm the situation down with gentleness and sovereignty. After all, there is hardly anything more attractive than a good person who can show courage, wisdom, strength, and assertiveness. Number five, you suddenly encounter angel numbers or double numbers everywhere. A somewhat different way of showing you the way to your kindred spirit is the so-called angel or double numbers in the form of groups of three or four of the same number, which in this case, you can encounter in the most unusual places. Pay attention, and you'll notice them when license plates suddenly read the combination 111. How often do you wake up at 333? And how often can such groups of digits appear on item numbers or price tags? The two groups around the number seven should have special meaning. So if you see seven, 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 or even better, four times the number seven anywhere, then these signs can indicate a positive change. The angel numbers are a clear case for followers of numerology. Many religious currents around the world teach this, but it doesn't matter much whether you believe in it or not. Just acknowledge them as a good sign. You do good and at the same time send a good feeling into the universe and a smile into the world. If you try to bring positive thought energies out into the world, sooner or later they will come back to you. The law of attraction works so simply and the universe works so simply day in and day out. The power of a smile or a kind word for a stranger can brighten their day. If you are still searching for your soulmate, stay alert and trust in the universe. In the higher power. The timing of the universe is sometimes different from ours. The universe embodies infinity. Therefore, the omniscient power, as we understand it, days, weeks, or years feel like the blink of an eye. In any case, your soulmate is predestined for you. With this knowledge, you can devote yourself to the signs that the universe sends you. As trite as it may sound, you will know once you meet your soulmate. There is no doubt that you belong together. You look forward to the future. Look forward to your soulmate who can soon come into your life. If this podcast inspired you and you liked it, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss an episode. We would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and see you soon on our channel.